a man in exceptionally grubby clothes tending his garden while a boombox blasted out Orbison and Puccini. Mr. Keene, a senior vice president, was making a rare trip to Marsh's World Trade Center office for a meeting on September 11th. A brother-in-law remembers Mr. Keene's constant coaching as father of five sons, the marathons he started at age 40, the communal house paintings every year, the glass of water was always half full for this guy. Mr. Keene, who exuded friendliness, loved to collect stories about people on his constant business travels. He believed in public transportation as a public good, was always trying to foist vegetables off on people, Mrs. Keene said. He was not the greatest singer, but sang in the choir of Sacred Heart Church where he would shuttle several blind women on most Sundays. 